I'm sorry. I said I had bonus unboxing, and uh, and then I ended the video and I forgot about it. So if you're still here, um, I got a bonus box from Power Grip. First time ordering from these guys. Um, I did have some trouble getting the tracking info. Uh, I never got emailed the tracking info. They said it was probably in my spam. Looked at my spam, couldn't find it. Not a big deal because. When I finally got the tracking number, it said it was delivered the day before my mailbox. So, uh, I guess I could have been checking that, but I didn't. I don't really remember what I ordered. Um, I do think it's Lone Star of some sort. I've been really enjoying their plastic lately. And they had a couple molds that I hadn't thrown yet that I want to try out. I think I ordered two discs. Let me try to guess. Pretty sure one's the MIDI, which is a uh, overstable mid... Um, not as stable as like the walker from them, but um, supposed to be nice and stable. And something else. I ordered something else too. Can't remember. The MIDI and the, the MIDI and the, oh yeah, I got a Bravo Dosex. So uh, I have liked my Alpha Dosex, uh, but I've discovered that Bravo plastic um, is a little less overstable, like intensely overstable. So like I have my tomb, Alpha Tombstone, which is just like a straight beefcake. And then uh, I also have a Bravo Tombstone that uh, fades just as hard as Alpha, but is a little straighter for a little longer in the fight. And my Dose X is great, but it's, it's really, really beefy sometimes. And so I end up not throwing it much unless there's like a big headwind or something. And so I was thinking maybe the Bravo could give me a little more flight before the, the good dump of the dose X. So that's what I ordered. Oh, they sent me a little, a little lifesaver. That's always appreciated. So here is my alpha midi yellow. Um, feels, it honestly feels like a buzz, which is weird because the the Texas Ranger is supposed to be the buzz replacement, but this MIDI feels like, look at that. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that rim. I, I can't get it to focus. Uh, anyways, it's like the same buzz rim, similar depth. Um, so if this is like a slightly overstable buzz, uh, then then that could be great. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the Ranger. I think it was just a little, little straighter. I'm just, I've, I've pretty much only have uh, ever really had one or two mids in my bag and it's been like five buzzes and then either something slightly more stable or slightly understable depending on the course. And so I, it's really hard for me to try other things than a buzz, but I wanna give the MIDI a shot. Um, if it's an overstable buzz, that'd be great. And then the second, this disc is beautiful. It's got this like white halo around it. Um, some like purple on the inside. Uh, a little bit of flex in it, which is like, that's what the Bravo does. Now this feels, this is grippy. This feels incredible. This Bravo plastic's really starting to grow on me, which is funny. Cause at first I thought I would only want the Alpha, but yeah, this is gonna go in the bag next to the Alpha dose X and uh, hopefully, like I said, just hold a straighter line. So um, I want this to be an overstable buzz, which the numbers say it should be right in that range. Uh, not as stable as like a, the Walker or the Justice. And then I want this to be kind of like a, I don't know, like an Eagle, uh, an Explorer. I would say my dose X, Alpha dose X is a little more stable than those, um, which has its uses, but I don't throw it a ton. So I, I want this to be more of like a workhorse one. So uh, that's two more discs that I, I got in the mail today and I'm excited to throw. I'm gonna throw them in the link bag and uh, hopefully get it out on the course soon.